Hey guys, this is Andrew from Enjoynica.com taking a quick look at a to-do list app called Google Tasks Incredible. Now this is a nice app because it syncs with Google Tasks so you can have it sync across devices, online, in your Google Calendar or Gmail, whatever. Uh, it supports multiple lists, but you can't create the lists within the app. You have to do that online. Uh, but once you do have those lists, uh, I can go to my default list really quick, or I can actually I can go to my Samsung list and see what I have to do. Uh, now, oh wait, yeah, I'm not supposed to show you guys that. Uh, yeah, just kidding. Uh, when you go to the default list, you can see why this might be an interesting app because it's reminiscent of an app called Clear. This was an iPhone app that was all about gestures, swipes, uh, quick, easy, uh, get out of the way type of task management, and that's what this thing does. As you can see, these are all the things that I have to do today. I have a very busy day, as you can tell. Uh, so to get through my, my many tasks, I say, you know what? Win a Grammy, that's not as important as the other things I have to do today. So why don't I just hold down on this and drag it down? I didn't have to go into the edit menu and switch position and set priority. I can set priority just by doing something. Okay, then I go to my next task to say dunk on LeBron. Well, I've already done that. So if I want to mark that as completed, I just swipe it to the right. And then when I go down, you see it's marked as part of my completed task. But if I did that in error, I just swipe it back to the right again, and now it's back to regular task. If I want to delete it completely, I swipe to the right, it's gone. Okay, turn speakers to 11. I've done that already. All right. Let me see what else I have to do. Apply for membership in the Avengers? Yeah, I've done that too. So I'm going to mark that as red. Uh, now I've got these things at the bottom. They're gray, so it shows that I've already completed this task. I don't need to do them anymore, so I'm going to shake the phone. Oh, wait. I didn't shake it enough. Okay, it was hard for me to show you with the, the way my camera is positioned, so I couldn't really get the shake. But if you do a solid shake of your phone like that, it removes all of your current... Uh, your current tasks that have been marked completed. So now I can scroll up and I can see these are just the last things that I have to do today. You know, it's a, it's a busy day, like I said. But if I decide that there's other things I need to do, all I have to do is tap right there and I can say, uh, it'll come up and say, review Google task incredible. And then I press enter or I tap on the little green check mark and now I have review Google task. It's put up to the top. I don't have to do tags or add extra notes or anything like that. Now, there are some apps that do have those things and it's very nice to have the option. But if you just have a simple task management that you need to do, this is a pretty cool app to have. Uh, like I said, if you get the paid version, you can switch the color. So instead of being blue, you might choose like red or orange or green based. Uh, I can go back and I can go through my separate task list. Uh, I've got one for Samsung. Uh, let me go there. I've already returned this super secret phone that doesn't exist. So I'm going to delete that one. And you can also link multiple accounts. So uh, if you've got multiple accounts on your phone, if you've got a Google task for work, uh, for your work account, and then you've got a separate list for your personal account, you can switch between accounts very easily. Uh, let me go back and show you that real quick. Right now, I've got it set to my end cam, but if I go back, I can add an account there. Pretty simple. And that's basically Google Task Incredible.